A minor point of specification we don't want to leave out is the use of SQL to search for data. So SQL stands for Structured Query Language. You may have used it in ICT perhaps or computer science in previous years. So it's a, it's a language that is used to interact with databases and so we can use it to retrieve data. So I've come up with as difficult a statement as you may see and including all the things you need to know about for the exam. So this is a deliberately difficult statement but hopefully you'll see even it's not as hard as it first looks. I know the colours don't necessarily help. So this could be in, it could be a bad idea but let's go through each bit of this SQL statement and SQL can be used for lots of things but we only need to look at it in terms of retrieving data, searching for data and retrieving it so using the things in this select statement. So first of all we have select something from club. So this is the basic structure and we always end the statements with a semicolon. So we're returning data from the specified table and the keywords are always in capitals and things like the names are, and so on traditionally would just be lowercase with or camel case as it's called. So we're returning data from a specified table, in this case club. And if we wanted to return data from multiple tables we could do comma another table. So we then have this asterisk here which is called, it, it falls under the category of wildcard operators and these are there to kind of replace something else and this is in there instead of writing all the fields. So fields are the technical word for columns. So it could be in the club table, name, city. This is based on football clubs, by the way. So uh, asterisk in SQL means select all from. So every field, every column in this club table. We've got where here twice. So where is to filter the record. Record is the fancy name for row as we've talked about in the previous video so this is where you can specify extra conditions in order to actually search and retrieve specific records so this is where the searching really comes into the select statement so in the first where clause we've got basically a nested SQL statement also with a where clause to it which is unnecessary in this case but you will sometimes see nested SQL statements uh, in this case I've just done it to make it a little more complicated essentially so we've, we're matching club ID all tables in relational um, database will have a field that is a primary key, a unique ID for each club in this case, and we're matching this club ID from club where name is like this and city equals London, and we're using that. This is going to be evaluated, so this could be say two, and so it will just be it'll collapse into where club ID equals two in that case. But anyway, so we can use Boolean operators like we do in programming to increase the complexity of our conditions and add more subclauses essentially. So for and both sides of this need to be true so a record needs to have the name like a something L and the city to be London. So like is another keyword that's there to kind of increase your searching capabilities and it's there to look for a specified pattern in a field i.e. Um, some data in the record that corresponds to the field. So here the percent sign is also a wildcard operator. These are just special operators that like I say are there to replace some other um, data that we don't know about yet. So the percent sign in particular replaces zero, one or multiple characters. So this is basically saying we want to have the first letter to be capital A and the last letter to be L. Anything in between we don't really care about. So if we bring all this together, what we're doing, we're selecting all the columns, all the fields from the club table where the club ID equals, and then we have to evaluate this. So we're selecting the club ID from club where the name is like A something L. So Arsenal was what I was going for here, and the city equals London. So Arsenal will get returned. Whatever the club ID is for Arsenal, it could be two, it could be five, it could be a hundred, and then this gets equaled. And so essentially, all the, all the columns that correspond to Arsenal get returned as a record from this searching SQL statement. Just to help you visualize it, here's an example table. You can see our club ID is unique here, and our result from running that query would be just the record of Arsenal because the city equals London, and a something L is our pattern in the name field.